look at look at what's across the way. Look at what Katsuya is turning into. And forgive me everybody, I literally just woke up. This is, guess what everybody? This is his second game after month. Oh, what? Third. Oh, uh, this is his third baseball game today after being postponed like had every in fucking weekend. 69 days. 69 days. You were keeping count? And then Sundays are usually for his baseball games, but it's been raining like every weekend. For the past, like, how how long was it? Two weeks? 69 days. 69 days, whatever that. Oh. It's a special day because now his home team is playing finally this Sunday. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to eat this breakfast. It's 9 a.m. right now, so we're going to eat this breakfast. I'm going to meet my mom because it's my Lula's birthday today. So we're going to visit. We're going to go to Forest Lawn, and then we're going to go to the baseball game. <laughs> So we made it to the park about a half hour early. So I figured I'd let the dogs just run around and, you know, get their little, get their sniffing, running, whatever they need to do time before the game starts. Because I actually like to watch the game. I'm not one of those wives or girlfriends that like go to the games just to be there and then I'm just on my phone. Sit there and I watch and get invested and make sure my honey is on his best game ever. And you know, I just don't need any distraction. And when I bring Fani, it's definitely a distraction because he gets so antsy or he just wants to, you know, do his thing. This is actually Rue's first time here at Tali's game. So I'm curious to see how she'll be for the hour. But she's getting her time in right now, so hey, stay here. So hopefully they'll be good, you know? Rue likes to copy Fani. Rue does anything that Fani does. So Fani sits back and relax. I'm sure that's what she'll do, so let's see. so lucky that it's not raining right now. I know you've been dying to play. I'm upset, you guys. Well, let's catch him up on the game. <laughs> I am upset. I'm upset because Tally's game was at 12. I hate when his games are at 12 because then by the time we get done, it's like two o'clock, three o'clock, three o'clock after he showers and there's no place for us to get breakfast and I want breakfast and there's no breakfast. All of our breakfast spots are closed. So now- We almost resorted to Ohio. So now, and we never, we would never. I would go to IHOP. No, not judging people who eat at IHOP or Denny's, but bitch. You gotta go to the right one. But bitch, no, we are, there's much better places than, than those. Run IHOP, it's a good tipper. Anyway, we're just, we're forced to eat lunch and I'm just not ready for lunch. And now we're resorting to Cheesecake Factory and I'm just like not. Ugh. It's really not that bad when I was, look at that glasses. Half not broken. I mean, we can always eat at I. I want something special, and it's cheat day, you know? Like, uh, I don't know, you guys. Yes, I'm being a brat, and I can admit it. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm being a brat, and you know what? I don't care, because I take eating very seriously. Very serious. <laughs> and he and my husband has to deal with it. We don't make it, though. I'm gonna be upset for just like five more minutes and then I'm gonna be in it. <laughs> then I'm gonna be then I'm gonna be fun. He's, he's telling the truth. Well, how was your game? Give him a run down. The game was amazing, man. We hadn't played in approximately 69 days uh, for that squad. We yeah, were six I was and telling one. Him. 
we were six and one, so we had good momentum with the team. And it's like, yo, that much time off, anything can happen. People out of town, because most of the people in the, on the team is uh, in the industry. So, yeah. You know, but people get cold and all that good stuff. But we actually had a great turnout. The full squad then we showed up. Um, and then the team we were playing, it was actually only half of their real players. So we actually were going to protest the game. What? Yeah, because we, they they, get, they went and got ringers. They didn't have enough people to play, so they went and got a whole bunch of other people. But why is that? But, uh, me, honey. Look at look at what's across the way. Look at what Katsuya is turning into. A Gucci. Bitch. Okay, Americana. Okay, Glendale. Oh my God, that just you going up. That just made me so happy. Oh, rent going up. <laughs> right. You know, put in a Gucci rent going up. A Gucci is coming to the American. Ooh, that's very dangerous. So, they ain't gonna have no good shit. So what do we do? They're gonna have all the old out of season stuff. Italian or Mexican? Um, Maybe we should have. Let's go. Oof. I just need to eat something before I die. I know. Hey. All right. Well, we found breakfast. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, looks like my bratty ways led us to the promised land. The promised land. So now we are getting breakfast, yes. not at IHOP. We're at, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Le Pain. Le Pain. Le Pain. Le Pain. Le Pain. And we've never really had breakfast here. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm happy that we're finally getting breakfast. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> And if y'all know any other dope breakfast spots, man, let us know. We in, we're in the Glendale area. We would like to know your favorite breakfast spots in LA. Hold on, we may have made the right decision, honey. We have made, I think we may have made the right decision. Hey, y'all hear that? There's like some, uh, some uh, like drums, like a band playing or whatever. I didn't think that my honey's old um, college, it's college band. It's university, sweetheart. It's not a college. <laughs> university. Where'd you go to college? Where'd you go to college? Answer that question. Where'd you go to college? I didn't go to college. I went to Florida and m University. <laughs> anytime we hear, you guys, anytime that we hear a band playing, we always make fun of each other. He always says, he always, and if they suck, he always says that it's my high school band. Go Bulldogs! He always says that, and then anytime that, anytime that I hear a marching band, I always like, fam you, fam you, because you know I'll just, you know, any fam you in, if you already know you, and they were fam in the marching, darling, fam, <laughs> sorry, fam in, fam in, fam you in, <laughs> if you are, I'm sorry, if you are a fam you in, and you, <laughs> and you were, <laughs> you. I can't, I can't you. and you were in the marching one hundred. I right, I know. And you're in the Marching 100, you just will not hear the end of it. You will not hear you will the not. end. You will not. I need my Marching 100 family to show up for me right now. What's up? <laughs> Bring it what on. did I say, family? Yeah, you in. Bring it on in all. Big top roof. Well, I think that this was... This isn't exactly what I wanted, but it was it's, it was better than settling for lunch at Cheesecake Factory after waiting for 45 minutes. That's why we got somewhere. That's why we went somewhere new. It's pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying myself. Good. I smoked before I left the house, so anything right now is delicious. Eat it up. Eat it up. It's a little sloppy, but... We have to go grocery shopping. You want to do it? You want to go grocery shopping after this? Nope. You said what? Nope. <laughs> Baby, what are we going to have for dinner? See, that's the next thing. Feasting. This is what she wants to do next. The reason why I'm wearing glasses, I don't really wear, I do wear glasses all the time, but not really inside, but there's like this big pimple that's on the bridge of my nose. Ugh, I shouldn't have fucked with it, but I did. So, anyway. <laughs> oh my God, should I get it? Get it, get it. If there's only, if there's literally, now if it's exclusive, if they have more in the back, I'm not gonna get it. But if this is like one of their only ones, I'm gonna get it. So we are, the, the shopping gods did not want me to shop today. 
So, and you know what, that's fine. Anytime the shopping gods don't want me to shop, yeah, you don't want to force it, you know? And that, and you know how I know when the shopping gods are telling me no, is when it's too crowded, every representative is taken, the thing that I really want is unavailable, you know? That's how I know the shopping gods are like, don't shop today. But Honey brought up a good point because I was like, damn, the shopping gods, I'm like, bitch, I don't want anything. Or I don't want to do anything. I don't want to, um, you know, force it. And he's like, because we should be home shopping. And I was like, yeah. So we are at a point, you guys, where we are nearly ready to move out of our apartment. And we're ready to get into our first home. I'm really excited about it. We do have a lead of a home that, you know, we're, we're par partly interested in. We just need to see. We love where it's at. We love the location. We just need to know what the inside looks like. Location, location, location. Also, the realtor is Tally's good friend and teammate. So, you know, we have we have family friends. Shout out to Nick Cost Realty. Yeah, we have a family friend looking out for us or whatever. So it's looking really good. So we're obviously at the beginning stages, but yes, this is where we need to stop. This is when we need to start looking at the things that we want because I'm the type of person where when I move into a new place, I want furniture right then and there, mm -hmm. but then I just get any, I just settle for anything because I just want to start living in my we home. We are preparing yeah. for our home. Yeah, yeah, instead of like what he said, preparing and really like thinking about the theme and where we want to go and just all of that, just all of the things that take patience. Cause I'm not really a patient person. Uh, series on preparing okay what is that what does that mean oh well Hold on. what is that what is preparing what are you teaching your your people well so i have been i've been got i've gotten back on my meditations and got a really healthy schedule and since then i get these mind dumps you know and um where just things a little bit more clear mm -hmm. and the idea of preparing came to me but not the way we spell it we normally spell prepare p-r-e-p-a-r-e -E, yeah right um, but think about like your headsets when you're pairing your headsets to a device. So the P A I R, like a pair. So the concept is to prepare yourself to the thing that you want versus the things that you don't. Some people say prepare for a rainy day. Right. If you prepare for a rainy day, the rainy day will surely come. But then there are some people who prepare for a rainy day, but their good feeling and their their the. the they feel settled that actually keeps it from coming so it's you know there's there's no hundred percent of anything so if i if we pair if we if we prepare ourselves for a house and we start shopping and we start making room for start acting as if acting as if we already have it then that means our chances of us loving the house or maybe or maybe the you know all the good things that all of the good things the pricing, that can happen right the landlord is more likely to happen. Or they, they might be like, y'all can buy the house. I mean, all uh, all, all the of the best things. scenarios, all of the best scenarios would be more likely to happen if we P-A-I-R ourselves. Yes. With it. Yep. Okay. Pairing, pairing Bluetooth headset. Right, right. Yeah, you pair to it. it it's it's pre So we're prepared. So think about that, you guys. Pre P-A-I-R yourselves for, or not for, with the thing that you desire. Mm -hmm.